that time again to spend another 30 minutes with Skip Elo and his talented guests. On the distaff side, we have an actress who, despite her numerous roles in the various entertainment media, has her initials etched indelibly on the role of Anne Frank, which she created for the original Broadway production. And there is a curious irony to this. Anne Frank died in a Nazi concentration camp, and the actress who brought it to life on the stage bears the initials SS. I refer to the charming Susan Strasberg. Our other guest's initials readily bring to mind a military policeman or member of parliament. However, in his many roles as rebellious and anti-establishment young men, he has often found himself running afoul of the law. For that matter, he even broke a law as the father of us all. I speak of none other than Michael Parks. And now, here's your man of the half hour, who, as a talk show host, recently asked his doctor to inoculate him against foot and mouth disease, the inimitable Skip E. Lowe. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Looking at Hollywood. We have a very, very Hollywood show for you today. I want you to sit back and relax because I want you to meet one of America's great actresses, Miss Susan Strasberg. How are you, darling? Thank you. Well, from what you said, I guess I'm Hollywood. <laughs> you are Hollywood in New York. But you do live in Hollywood now, don't you? I've lived in Hollywood uh, or in California on and off really for about 25 years. So, I think I'm the oldest new face in town. <laughs> <laughs> What's new and exciting in Susan Strasberg's life right now? Well, I don't know that it's so new. I'm in the process of completing a novel, my first novel, uh -huh. for Putnam's. It's taken me about three years. I think it's probably the most challenging and difficult thing that I've ever done, but I love it. It's, uh -huh. it's not, a, not a Romana clay. It's uh -huh. not about uh -huh. me. Um, well, it's not about you. Then. No, no, so it's not. A well, you know, in the sense that, let's say, when you play a part, it's not you, but all the part. I get to be uh -huh. the villain. I, I'm uh -huh. all the men in this book, all the women. I'm, I guess, uh, obviously, Henry Miller said before he died that he thought that all fiction in the future was going to be thinly disguised autobiography. Uh -huh. So, to some extent, I mean, it's about an actress. Now, the fact that she's tall, blonde, blue-eyed, and Catholic, <laughs> I hope will take it far enough away from me that uh, I uh -huh. have a friend, Rona Jaffe, who said, well, the minute you make her tall and blonde, everyone's going to think it's you anyway. Uh -huh. um, but it's a composite of people that I have known living and dead. Mm -hmm. And obviously, there are feelings, the, the thoughts, feelings, uh, some of the experiences are mine, but it's not my story. It is. An invented story, and that's hard uh -huh, uh -huh. because when you it's like being God, you suddenly have this complete freedom mm -hmm. to do anything you want to, mm -hmm. except that it has to make sense, it has to be a life. Yes, yes, it was much easier doing my own because you know how it's going to turn out. I uh -huh. mean, when I wrote the book, I knew I lived, I knew I had Jennifer, my daughter, mm -hmm. I knew mm -hmm. I got a divorce. There are certain mm -hmm. things that were givens in the beginning. Yes, this is it's exciting, it's a little lonely because I'm used to as an actress relating to people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you, I talk on paper instead of like this. How long have you been doing this? How long is uh, you're, you're almost finished? Well, I'm between <laughs> start and finish. Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. I would l I'm planning to finish by the end of the year. I and see. I wrote something else also recently. I wrote a forward for uh, my first forward <laughs> for a book called uh, Strasberg's Method by Laurie Hull. Uh -huh. It's a woman who taught from my father for mm -hmm. about 12 years, and it's the exercise work, uh -huh, which uh -huh. no one has been able to get down uh -huh. on paper. Uh -huh. That's, I think, coming out next month. Uh -huh. so. Susan, tell me something. You've got to clarify Tell you me. something? Yes, yes. <laughs> Depends. Depends. Well, St Strasburg has an actor studio. It's called Actor Studio and Actors Institute here in Hollywood. Now, there's a difference between the Institute and the Actors Studio. No, my father was the artistic director for what, 30 years right. of the Actors Studio, which mm -hmm. is a nonprofit right. studio uh, in which you audition to get in, mm -hmm. you don't, don't pay. pay. Right. Um, and I believe it's a, what do you call it, a tax, uh, you know, tax free organization. That's mm -hmm. right. And the Institute, it was my father's private acting classes, which for which you you went and uh -huh. maybe uh, had an interview mm -hmm. and he took you into and class. He took in. And the work was very different because. It's different, you say? Well, yes, it's different. See, in, in the studio, the actor studio, for instance, people came having studied from all different places, some of them right. never having studied. Right. So you right. had kind of a hodgepodge of, of ways of working, of people from different backgrounds. Uh -huh. A lot of people who have been in the studio, let's say, for 20 or 30 years, still may not know 
some of the work. Mm -hmm. It's not like a school where you have to do certain things. When you go right. to a school, you kind of start at A, go uh -huh. to B, to C, uh -huh. to D, to E. In the studio, you came in and worked on yourself, but uh -huh. there are still people who, um, you know, you could still, I don't mean even an argument, but there's, there's yeah. such a, mm -hmm. a kind of uh, diversity of, yes. of ways of working in the The institute studio. is in Hollywood, though. The uh, there's one in Hollywood and one in New York. Oh, there is one in mm -hmm. New York. I didn't know that. There mm -hmm. is one in New York. And mm -hmm. your mother, um, your mother started, she's... My mother, mother no, my mother, mother has passed away 19 your, years ago, my mother Paula, right. who did teach also, but my stepmother, stepmother. runs the schools now. That's right, right. Here in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. huh? I see. Tell me something about Richard Burton. <laughs> well, Was he the love of your life? Um, I mean... Well, you know, you it's just so funny when you, you know, I've, t I've talked about uh, obviously a lot of these things so much because of my, um, of the first book that I wrote, Bittersweet. Yeah. Um, but once you write something, it's just not so, it's, it's as if, it, I don't even mean that it's cathartic, but it's kind of over and done with. The thing that is funny to me is that I was on a show like this but with an audience uh -huh. and talking about the book. Uh -huh. And I had been talking about Burton, and I guess it's a kind of very dramatic part of the book, where uh -huh. how I was suicidal and how despondent I was. Yes. And I almost threw myself off Waterloo Bridge, but I had a new mink coat on that <laughs> I had just bought, and I thought, well, <laughs> I don't mind dying, but I don't want to ruin the coat. Uh -huh. And a woman in the audience raised her hand and said, oh, Miss Strasberg, I just have to tell you how much I envy you, uh -huh. your relationship with Richard Burton. And I said, but weren't you listening to me? I just finished describing that I, I was suicidal. It was one of the most unhappy mm -hmm, times mm -hmm, of my life. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, better to be miserable over Richard Burton than over my husband. <laughs> so, <laughs> I see. Anyway, you're... He was, a, he was a wonderful actor. He was. And there aren't many actors like him. He had enormous uh, temperament. He did. And if you, you look now, there are nice actors, uh, there are good actors, but very few, particularly on stage, who have that kind of, uh, somebody once said about, I, oh God, it's about the great English actor, they have whose to have name that. I can't remember, they said, he illuminated Shakespeare with flashes of lightning. Uh -huh. uh, Richard, when he was good, had that kind of temperament that he could illuminate uh -huh. things. Uh, and See, I think, I think that a lot of actors, it's funny, my father used to try and differentiate between uh -huh. naturalism and realism. If you look at television, people are very natural nowadays, uh -huh. but they're not real. Real. That's and it. because reality is the essence of life, so mm -hmm. that it's fuller, it's mm -hmm. more, it's uglier, more beautiful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, Natural is I can go stand on the street corner and watch people be natural, and yes. somehow it seems to me there was a confusion with that. And in well, I don't know whether that came about because of the uh -huh. whole method and, uh -huh. and misunderstanding of of what that meant. But so that actors, let's say, like well, Pacino has it too on stage. Uh, Brando. Uh, Brando, who ha who, you know, can you think they're uh -huh. they're real, they're natural, but they 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 come up with these flashes, yeah. which is. They have a kind of danger. You never know what they're going to they're do. Going to take chances. Yeah. They take I, chances. I, and yeah. also, they take a risk, and they dare to be terrible. That's it. That's that. I just want to be I saw good. A singer <laughs> I saw a singer last night did the same thing on Who? stage. Uh, some singer here in Hollywood. He did the same thing. I was surprised. Some singer has just killed just himself. You think he's wonderful, and you can't remember his name. <laughs> yes. His, uh, his name is Ellen, and he's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mark Ellen. He's mm -hmm. just wonderful. He took chances on that stage last well, night. And you know, that's what I like about performers. They take chances. Well, it's yeah. you. It's it's your way. father is method, right? I mean, it's really method, isn't it? Just, mm, isn't I don't know about really method. There is no the method, quote the yeah. method that doesn't exist. It's in other words, um, the, he taught techniques that he had gotten from Stanislavski and right. Tongo. Mm -hmm. He, I think, it's impossible to. You, you know, the thing is, I remember he used to say to me, uh, "Don't you never." borrow anything, steal it outright, and make it your own. He made his own contribution uh -huh. to that work. But none of the work was for everyone. In other words, there were exercises that I never did yes, because yes. I didn't need to do them. So it's a little bit like if it's not broken, don't fix it. Yeah. Um, it is a way of work. And as, let's say, differentiated from 
English acting, yes. which probably tends to go from the outside in. American acting would go from the inside out, but mm -hmm. I think it's the, the method, yes, yes. whatever that is, right, which right. we won't go whatever into, but say, right. has influenced the, the younger generation of English actors, because I remember English? being chased down, English of English act actors. Peter O'Toole chased my oh. father down oh. the street, oh God, it must be 25 years ago in England. We thought somebody was coming to mug us. <laughs> this was before muggers, uh -huh. but, uh -huh. and it was O'Toole who had read something about the method and uh -huh. wanted to say, Albert uh -huh. Finney, all those actors uh -huh. have, they have both, but uh -huh. they were fascinated and it made, I think, a, a huge difference to that mm -hmm. generation that came, the angry young men, uh, John Osborne, all those plays that started coming Angry out young men, you're saying. You were married to a, an angry young man, weren't you? Christopher Jones. Well, I think probably Was every, he angry? I would suspect that almost every young man is angry at some point. I think <laughs> maybe it goes with the territory of adolescence. But where's Christopher Jones? What's happening with his life right now? Susan? Well, you know Christopher, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. But he's in Hollywood. But, I mean, do you see him? Uh, I see him not that uh, frequently, but we have a child, Jennifer, so right. and um, so we see one another. Uh, I think he, you know, he's a wonderful painter. Yes. And I know he's doing a lot of painting, uh -huh. which I think he could mm -hmm. do professionally if he wanted to. He really he's is. Very artist, yeah. He's, he's very artistic. Wonderful. I don't know whether he wants to act or not. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, he hasn't that feeling anymore. He just lays back slowly, and that's it. He's dying here in Hollywood. Just wants to paint. That's what, like That's you're right. saying. But you know right. something? I have one of another Hollywood great actors I want you to meet. And you probably worked with him in a film. Mm -hmm. What film was it? I, you do remember? Michael Parks? I don't remember the name of the film. That was an overactive teenage sweat gland. <laughs> well, he is... I, I remember I wore a blonde the only wig. Thing I it can, was terrible. The only thing I can think about Michael Parks, he is the most... Mysterious, mysterious man of Hollywood. Let's bring him on. Michael Parks, how are you? The mystique of Michael Parks. Yeah, Michael, you should come on with Why? a mask and then Why drop are your you mask so mysterious to the camera. Or in Hollywood, Michael? Everyone... I, I probably it's because I don't talk that much. You don't talk, they think, well, he must know a lot. People don't talk. Don't you know. talk, they also think you're very intelligent. That's usually. it. Yeah. <laughs> you can Michael. do line readings. <laughs> yes. Michael, you are writing now, too. Yeah, we something. don't want to get into that, do we? I, no, I have to we don't have to get into said. that, no. Because it does get very lonely at times, and I agree with you about Brando. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, he does light up the stage. He does. Screen. Oh, yeah. Yes. No is, he, is he one of your favorite actors? So, and so did Richard. I worked with Richard. You did? What did you and work for? Let's see. What was it called? We shot it uh, 1979. It was Bob Mitchum, Burton, and myself, Rod Steiger, Kurt Jurgens. Good cast. Uh huh. Great. And he was funny. What I loved about him. Yes. The uh -huh. reason I've I've been called an angry young man. You got an angry young man thing. And the reason why you call that is because they give you ninety seven roles where you steal hubcaps and I see. shoot at the police and I mean, it's not people confuse tend to confuse the actor with the part. With yeah. the part. Then came Bronson was your television series in nineteen. Yeah, but he wasn't angry at all. He wasn't. I finally got a chance to show people that I was nice. And, uh huh. Well, but you've done lady. classical work, haven't you? I know you've done theater work. Uh, yeah, about fifty plays. You yeah, have, you're so. a theater actor. Yeah, Michael, certain huh? 53 don't go. Before you did your series. Yeah. I see. Uh huh. And what was your first film, Michael? Years what was your first motion picture? Do you remember your uh, first motion first picture? First motion picture is Wild Sea. It's a black wild and white wild film. That, uh, see, that's how you get a recognition. Ah. So he's producer. the Wild Sea. That's in 1964, <laughs> wasn't it, Michael? Something like that? 63. 63. Yeah. I was living in Europe at that time, yeah. It's I 23 remember. days, 256,000. Uh huh. Who was in that, mean? Michael? The Where Wild Seed. George Bernard Shaw said something that's so true. The equivalent today would probably be a uh, million dollars. But he said, if you would keep the non-educational film, that's what we do, mm -hmm. uh -huh. below twenty-five thousand dollars, right? Because it was nineteen twenty-four. Mm -hmm. You would soon discover you had an art. That's uh, true. Hmm. I see. Yeah. But I do miss the flowers. You you just picked these, didn't you? You didn't really mm -hmm. buy any. No, we just oh, picked them, Michael. Budget. On Norton Street. Something Michael, tell me something. Here? Yeah. Michael, tell me something. And this is water. Did you study with Lee Strasberg? No. Did you know him? Did yeah. You, did you? Sweet man. Uh, uh -huh. I met him through Jennifer Jones, and uh, he said to come and audit one day. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I went by the class, and it was awful because uh, <laughs> Gabe Dell was there. <laughs> it's nothing you personal know, about Gabe. Oh, I love Gabe. No, he's a good friend. Of